Hi, this is Trey Passer. As promised, I'm sorry I'm a little late with this, but this is going to be my review of the Teen Titans, the Judas Contract. Uh, this is, uh, I read this, you know, I read it, I was a big fan of Teen Titans comic book growing up. I read it while Wolfman and George Perez were the creators of the, of the new version of the Teen Titans. And the Judas Contract was a very good story art in that, that, that I really read and I loved. Okay, and basically in this, this story, okay, uh, you have the, if you've seen the other Teen Titan movie, I guess this is just like the characters in this are Starfire, you have Beast Boy, you have uh, Raven, you have uh, the Blue Beetle, okay, and into the group comes a returning Nightwing, okay, and of course Terra. Terra is uh, a character that has the ability to move the earth, okay, and she comes into the group, and of course Beast Boy has a kind of a crush on her, and she's kind of uh, <laughs> ignoring him at every turn, but uh, and of course you have the uh, the young Robin too. I forgot to mention that he's in there as well. And you know Damian Wayne. And of course you know they have their battles and stuff. And you know, like I said, uh, Beast Boy is instantly smitten with Tara, who basically he can't stand the sight of him. And uh, of course the returning Robin, you know he comes back to the group, okay. And he's a part of the group. And of course he they show him moving on with his relationship with Starfire. And of course there's a new uh, enemy. To battle our brother blood okay uh he's a religious figure who has zealots that work for him okay and they're seem seemingly to be working towards a project okay when the teen titans are you know fighting them throughout the course of the movie and of course in the in the, in the background you have a uh, slade wilson deathstroke he's involved as well and of course judas contract if everybody knows who judas is you know is a you know the betrayal and everything else and that's a big part of this story I don't want to spoil it, okay? But that's a big part of the story. Basically, it's the Titans against Brother Blood, with uh, Deathstroke in the background and the new team member Terra, okay? And the Titans and what they have to deal with with that. And it's a really good story. Real, you know, they give you character moments. You have the Blue Beetle who's worried about not being close to his uh, parents anymore because of the bug that's on his back, okay? So he's kind of, you know, he misses his family because he's away from his family, and he's trying to find a connection okay and then of course you have Beast Boy who's you know you know crazy about you know Tara and then you have Tara who's a loner you know who's part of the group but she's not really not okay and they're trying to figure out a way to ease her in okay and then you have Robin and Starfire you know Robin basically asked Starfire to move in with him okay and so you have that and then of course you have Damien Wayne Robin who suspicious of everybody all the time and then you have, of course you have Deathstroke who's a part of you know he's manipulating as usual, as, as the characters want. And then, of course, you have Brother Blood, who's ultimately like a religious zealot who's working towards this goal, and it involves the Titans, okay, without spoiling it, okay? And again, this movie is really good and really intense, okay? Some great fights are in this, some great portrayals. And I think they do the comic book justice, because I read the comic book, so I know how it played out in the comic books. And I think they do the com comic justice, I think, with, with the way they do it. And I like the animation. The animation is good in this. And the story, I like the you know the nod they give back to the past, you know, to the comic book story. I think they did a good job with this. So overall, I'm gonna give a Teen Titans, the Judas Contract. Okay, I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give it an eight. I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten. Okay, because I liked it a lot, a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. Because again, you know, they changed the characters' ages, you know, from based on the comics, the, the characters are of various ages. But I think it works for the story. And again, I like that they. This is a kind of continuation from the previous movies, from the Batman movies, you know, Batman and Robin, and the ones that came before Teen Titans and Justice League. This is all in the same kind of storyline arc. Okay, so I would definitely wouldn't mind seeing another Teen Titans movie. Uh, anime, I love these DC animated movies, and this one was really good and really intense, and I can't wait to see further adventures of the Titans going forward. So 8 out of 10, definitely enjoyed. Anyway, let me know what you think of uh, Teen Titans, The Judas Contract. What do you think of it? Uh, feel free to leave comments down below, and if you like this review, hit, please hit the subscribe button down below. I have links to my Facebook, my Twitter, and my Instagram in the description box, as well as links to a link to my other channel, Paul's Views and Opinion. Please check that channel out as well. And this is Trey Pastor saying so long, and take care.